good morning good afternoon good evening wherever you are i want to say thank you so much for watching our videos thank you for staying with us you are amazing in the name of jesus you mean so much to us welcome to the month of april it's our month of open doors it is our month that god will make way for us when it seems there is no way god will strengthen you in the name of jesus it is a month of no tiredness for you in all your endeavors in the name of jesus father will bless your name father we give you all the glory we give you all the honor we give you adoration oh lord god almighty please speak to us today bless us today change lives today heal us today and let your name be glorified for in jesus christ wonderful name we have prayed amen praise god today briefly i want to encourage us to rise to arise and run to arise and run one of the things the devil does is to discourage Christians, is to make sure they remain defeated, is to make sure Christians keep pondering on the past, keep wondering, keep thinking on their mistakes, keep thinking on their error to hinder them from moving forward. The book of John 10, 10 the Bible says, The thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. He said, I am caught that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly do not cooperate with the devil to remain defeated do not cooperate with the devil to remain on the ground what do you do how to arise and run number one forget about the past forget about the mistakes don't think on it one of the strategy of brother paul is that he loves always to forget about the past philippians chapter 3 verse 13 to 14 he said brethren i count not myself to have apprehended but this one thing i do forgetting those things which are behind and reaching forth unto those things which are before i press towards the mark for the price of the high calling of god in christ jesus we need to always forget the past forget about the mistake stop pondering on it then you arise isaiah 60 verse 1 you arise because what because your light has come you arise by light it is a commandment it says arise shine for thy light has come. It says, and the glory of the Lord is sitting upon you. It is a command, not just arising. You arise and run to the place of your destiny. Arise and press forward. Arise and pursue. Arise and overtake in the name of Jesus. Number three, what do you do to be able to arise and run? Let the Lord be a light unto you. Micah chapter 7 verse 8, it says, Rejoice not over me. When I fall, I shall arise. When I am in darkness, the Lord will be a light unto me. Allow the Lord to, to be a light unto you. How can the Lord be a light unto you? Through his word. Psalm 119 verse 105, he said, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. The word of God will light to you. Let the Lord be a light unto you. John 8, 12, 6. Then speak Jesus again unto them, saying, I am the light of the world. He that followeth me shall not walk in darkness, but shall have the light of the Lord. The following of the Lord, it is a light unto your path. The following of the Lord, it is the light unto your ways. The following of the Lord, it is a light unto your destiny. The following of the Lord, it is the light to make you arise. Somebody, you are listening to me. Begin to arise and run. Oh, shaka tabalaba. Begin to run into the name of the Lord. The Bible says the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run into it and they are saved. The light of the Lord is what will lighten you and deliver you from that darkness. The reason why you will arise and run is because your light has come. Somebody, you are watching me. I prophesy to your life. Your light has come. In this month of April, receive the light of the Lord in the name of Jesus. Don't forget, I want to remind you of those points. Forget those things which are past. Press forth unto those things which are high. Even on the cross of Calvary, Jesus Christ said it is finished. He said it, it is finished before we could get our redemption. Forget about the things of the past. Don't ponder on the mistake. Don't ponder on the error. Arise and run. Let the Lord be a light unto you through his word and by following him. The Lord bless you. The Lord keep you. The Lord lift up his confidence upon you. May he be gracious unto you and give you peace. Uh, please feel free to like this video. Feel free to share with somebody. If you are watching, you want to give your life to Christ. Um, you want to say yes, Lord, please do say this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. Thank you for sending your words to me today. Uh, please forgive my sins. Come into my life. Come and be the Lord of my life. Thank you for answering my prayers for you, Jesus Christ. 
in that name we have prayed. Amen. We say that prayer, genuine congratulations. You are now born again, Christian. I want to continue to love the Lord, continue to tell Him, continue to do His will, and He shall be with you. You know what? I love you so much, and I'm going to see you next time. Bye.